Welcome to How to Yu-Gi-Oh! Breakdown. Missing Potential. Okay, and so now let's talk about the missing potential in cards. And one of the cards that has the missing potential is, as you can see in front of you, Waybridge. Waybridge is a normal trap coming out in Photon Hypernova in February this year, and it has the following effect. If your opponent controls two or more monsters than you do, your opponent must send monsters they control to the graveyard, so they only control one monster. Now, this is a card, when we look at it, in theory, it looks alright. At first glance, it looks like it's a really good card. didn't it take off and why has it not become a staple as evenly matched has become well if we look at it um, realistically things look all right really I mean we look at evenly matched and let's compare the two as you can see they're both normal traps they both are for going second but the only difference is is that evenly matched can be activated on the hand and Waybridge cannot that, my friends, makes all the difference. At the end of the day, if both cards serve the same function... Are you serious? ...rather, and leave your opponent in a way of dealing with cards without destruction, then surely it's... it's all right, right? You can't handle this power. I'm not so sure about that, and it's one of those cards where it's a bit of a shame, really. I don't know why it didn't take off, and I don't know why it didn't become a staple, because Konami has hit the right beats here, especially when it comes to creating a, go a new going second card that would be good for the game. It, it has all the right elements of a good card, and it's such a shame that this card ha is missing a lot of potential uh, to be the best or a new staple card for going second. We'll see whether it's going to gain popularity in the future but as of now coming out this year in 2023 in february it has failed and has been missing a lot of potential and here we have our other card that's been missing a lot of potential and that is fusion duplication for all intents and purposes fusion duplication looks to be a fantastic card um it has the ability to copy any spell or trap card or any card in general spell or trap that mentions the name fusion in it or polymerization in it. And we all know copying can lead to a lot of broken things. And so with such a great range, with such abilities, you would think this would be a really good card and it would see some potential um, for its usage. You are absolutely right. But as we've seen, this is a card that has faded to obscurity, especially Initially, it was played in Branded, but with Branded's uh, future support that it's had in Cyberstorm Access, it's sort of faded out. And this is a card that is pretty understandable why it faded out. Unlike a Waybridge, this is a card where the potential looks, looks good in theory, and in theory sounds good, but it really does not deliver all that much when we look at it in the big scheme of things. And it's a bit of a shame, really, that this is a card that, again, with a lot of, in theory, potential, but it just ends up missing out on set potential. Let us move on. And we have our final card that is, is missing a lot of potential, and we see it with Time Tearing Morganite. We look at Time Tearing Morganite, we look at those effects, and with its effects with um, what it does it looks to be a card with a lot of potential at first glance Facts. the ability to draw two cards instead of one during your normal draw phase um you can conduct two normal summons instead of one only added cost there is that you cannot activate any monster effects when you normal summon this uh, turn so and these are the sort of effects you have and those apply for the rest of the duel so it's a very powerful restriction but with the restriction comes instead of drawing one card you draw two instead of one normal summon you have two normal summons so it basically doubles up what you do 
And so, in theory, this looks to be, you would think this would be a good card for trap decks. For example, for a deck like Labyrinth um, or Trap Trick, you would think this would be a fantastic card, right? Uh, trap Trick would love it because they'd be able to draw two cards. Um, and it looks to be a good card. So what is the problem? Well, the problem is, is that while it sounds good in theory, in paper, in practice, it doesn't, it's not so good. It ends up being really quite slow and it ends up being a sort of card which just fails to translate to be a good card in Yu-Gi-Oh, unfortunately. And so with that being said, it fails to hit the mark and misses a lot of potential. We come to the end of this video. So, as I like to say, you are one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. My fate, right, is in your hands.